Imagine you could hook up your brain to a remote body, and you could control that body and send it wherever you'd like. You could send it back to work to pick something up you left there. This may sound absurd, but Dr. Eagleman, is this feasible? Absolutely, because the way we control our big meat robots now is you've got your motor cortex sends signals that goes down and controls things very finely. But there's no reason that we can't eavesdrop on those signals, either with electrodes implanted, which people are doing, or non-invasively from the outside, and use that to control something else. So people have actually been doing this since at least 2010, where you have, let's say, a monkey controlling a robotic arm. So what this means is as we get better and better at this, we'll control external devices. And I think this is the only meaningful way that we're going to be able to do space travel, because our bodies are built for this little thin atmosphere that we live in, but we're terrible at traveling in space. We have to wear these big suits. But if you really want to get far in space, I think you just control with your brain an external body.